Welcome back to the Daughters of Sheba Foundation, your hub for everything women. Today, you're tuning into our Glow and Grow series, dedicated to self-improvement for the fabulous woman over 40. We're thrilled to have you here. So grab your coffee, settle in, and let's dive into growth and empowerment together. Stay with us as we explore new ways to glow and grow every day. Have you ever felt like you're constantly chasing an impossible ideal? Like no matter how you improve, it's never quite enough. If you're a woman over 40, you might be nodding your head right now. But what if I told you there's a different way? A way that doesn't involve endless self-improvement, but instead embraces who you are right now. Today, we're getting into why more and more women over 40 are choosing self-acceptance over self-improvement. And trust me, it's a game changer. My name is Claudette Estherine Campbell, and I am the president and chairperson of the Daughters of Sheba Foundation. And let's talk about what self-improvement really means. Improvement. It's the idea that we need to constantly better ourselves, lose weight, get in fitter, earn more money, look younger. Sound familiar? For years, we have been told that this is a path to happiness and success. But here's the thing, it's exhausting. And for many women over 40, it's just not working anymore. So what's the alternative? Enter self-acceptance. It's a radical idea that you're already good enough just as you are. Now, I know what you're thinking, but don't we need to improve ourselves? And yes, growth is important, mm -hmm. but there's a difference between growing from a place of self-love and constantly trying to fix yourself. Here's what one woman over 40 had to say about this. Self-acceptance is very important as well as self-improvement, and I have chosen both. While getting to know myself, I started accepting me for who I am, and I also found out that I need to improve on areas that I had self-doubt. Areas of self-sabotage that I had to improve in order to make a better version of me, the real me. Let's talk about why this shift is so important for women over 40. By the time we hit 40, we have lived a lot of life. We have had successes and failures. We have loved and lost. We have created careers and families. And through it all, we've been bombarded with these messages about how we should look, act, and feel. The pressure to stay young is intense. Anti-aging creams, Botox, fat diets. The message is clear. Aging is something to fight against. But what if it's, what if it's not? What if the lines on our faces are signs of wisdom, not flaws to be erased? then there's a pressure to have it all. A successful career, a perfect family, an Instagram worthy or TikTok worthy home. Oh, and don't forget to stay fit and look fabulous while doing it all. It's no wonder so many of us feel like we're falling short. But here's the truth. These standards are highly unrealistic. They're based on a narrow definition of success and beauty and they completely ignore the richness and complexity of real women's lives. So how do we shift from self-improvement to self-acceptance? It starts with awareness. Notice when you're being hard on yourself. yourself. Are you criticizing your appearance, feeling guilty for not being productive enough? These are signs that you're caught in the self-improvement trap. Next, challenge those thoughts. Ask yourself, would I talk to a friend this way? If the answer is no, then why are you talking to yourself like that? Actually, I asked one friend and this is what she had to say. Yes, I have accepted myself, flaws and all, or <laughs> what I thought were flaws. I have chosen to be me, gray hair and everything. 
I don't really care what others think. I do me. And however, I have chosen to not self-sabotage, you know. I have chosen to step out of my box, accept opportunities that I want to accept, but was afraid to do so. I have changed my fear to freedom. Freedom to be me, not to be anybody else or what others do me to be. I am me and that's what I've chosen. A better virgin of me. That's Start appreciating your body for what it can do and not how it looks. Your body has carried you through 40 years of life. That's pretty amazing if you ask me. Celebrate your achievements, big and small. Did you raise kind kids? Build a career you're proud of? A new learn. skill? These are all worthy of celebration. Practice. Attitude. Focus on what you have and not what you lack. It's a simple shift, but it can make a big difference in how you feel. Surround yourself with positive influences. Follow, listen to this one. Follow social media accounts that make you feel good about yourself. Spend time with friends who lift you up. Remember, self-acceptance doesn't mean giving up on growth. It means growing from a place of love, not criticism. It's about adding to your life, not thinking or trying to fix what isn't broken. My friend Colleen, who you just saw, and I, and so too many women in the Daughters of Sheba Foundation, we aren't settling. We are choosing to value ourselves just as we are. And in doing so, we're enjoying a deep sense of peace and contentment. Now, I want to be clear, self-acceptance isn't always easy. We've been conditioned for years to focus on self-improvement. It takes time and practice to shift that mindset. Be patient with yourself. Remember, you don't have to reject all self-improvement. The key is to approach it from a place of self-love, not self-criticism. Want to learn a new skill? Fantastic. But, but do it because it excites you, not because you feel inadequate about it. So as we wrap up, I want you to think about this. What would your life look like if you accepted yourself fully? How would it feel to wake up each day knowing you are enough? That's the power of self-acceptance. And it's available to all of us at any age. So, so there, there you have it. The reason why more and more women over 40 are choosing self-acceptance over self-improvement. It's not about giving up or settling. It's about recognizing your inherent worth. It's about living from a place of love, not fear. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Have you made the shift to self-acceptance or are you still struggling with the pressure to constantly improve? Share your experiences in the comment below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with someone who might need it. Don't forget to subscribe for more content on personal growth and self-improvement. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next video.